we're living in the land of the loss. So I was scrolling on IG and I came across this. Um, play it for me a cappella. Play the girls from me a cappella up front on the first half mm -hmm. and then on the second half, drop the beat in. Yeah. Okay, sweet. This is for the girls getting money. This is for the girls that don't need no man. This is for the girls that's in love with yourself. This is for all the girls that done did it by themselves. This is for all the girls that's I N D E P E N D N T. This is for all the girls that be living stress free. This is for all the girls on a mission like me. So, what you see, I don't even know if I can really keep that in the video, but you know, because of copyright situations, but. I'm gonna try to keep it in, and if I can't, what I'm, what y'all, what I just tried to play for y'all was Sierra. She made a song for basically for the single ladies, right? And um, we all know she's a married woman. As a matter of fact, she like the poster child for what a lot of women aspire to have. You know, the the Russell Wilson type. You know what I'm saying? And because of her making that song, she done created a big uproar. So a lot of people in the comments on on Twitter going in on her saying that um they don't basically the the message is they don't appreciate her making that kind of music because they don't want to be independent they don't want to um pay all the bills they don't and, and they want a relationship they want to be married just like her is basically what the consensus is on twitter or whatever right and um this is what i want to say about this i don't feel like there's necessarily a problem being independent um, I feel like in a, a lot of different ways, it's beneficial for women in this day and age because you see my message all the time. Um, there are a lot of guys out here that, to be honest, you need to be independent to uh, protect yourself from. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I feel like it's still a lot of independent women's goal to find a man that they can trust so that they don't have to be independent. They want to find a genuine guy so that they don't have to pay all the bills and they don't have to have their guard up worrying uh, um, worrying about whether or not this guy's really got their best interest at heart or really loved them. You know what I'm saying? But what I do want to say is this. Because of the uproar, it, it really showed me something that really needs to be spoken on. And um, here it is. We're living in the land of the lost. There's a lot of people out here that have microphones, have big platforms, and they're uh, promoting certain lifestyles. You know, whether it be divesting, MGTOW, Red Pill, let's be a thug, let's be a, a, a sexually liberated woman, LGBTQ, all kind of different movements going on right now. And if you young or you have an undeveloped, underdeveloped mind, and you're still impressionable, you can be out here listening to all this and getting yourself more and more confused by the day. What I want to say is this. Unplug from this. Figure out what it is that you truly want in life. Because if you sitting here and, and you listening to this all day, every day, you ain't going to know what direction to go in. You ain't going to know who you are. You're going to be living the life that somebody else is promoting and then they not even living that life. Like in this song Sierra making, she making a song for independent women. She's not an independent woman. She got, I'm pretty sure, you know, she had her own money. She was a high artist and all that kind of stuff. But right now she's married. And from what we can tell from what everybody promote, she's married, married to like one of the best guys to be married to <laughs> it don't seem like she got much to worry about in life in this in this period of her life right so keep that in mind there's people that are promoting lifestyle i saw the other day a guy um a red pill guy was exposed he ran out here telling people not to marry single mothers not to date single mothers not to date women that's over, above the age of 23 come to find out He's dealing with a woman that is 40 and she's a single mother. But every day he get online and he telling people to stay away from what he decided to be in a relationship with. People aren't living 
uh, people aren't, uh, yeah, people aren't living what they preaching. And because they, because you like them, because they're charismatic, because they can gas you up and, and, and make you feel, you know what I'm saying? Like make you get all amped up and everything. You'll be around here living these people's lives that they're projecting for you. And it's not even, it's not even true for them. I remember growing up, I had a lot of different phases. Um, I started out as a good kid, like was doing my schoolwork, you know, I just wanted to, I was always pretty, pretty popular or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to, to do me. I liked the things that I liked. I wanted to play basketball. I wanted to play baseball. I did those things. I had girls that I liked, girls like me, but then it got to a certain age where I started listening to the music and looking around me and, and seeing what's going on in the neighborhood and everybody was influenced by the culture, which is <laughs> which is, is crazy because the culture that we have promoted to us black people is like very negative and demonic in a lot of different ways. They promote the worst, the, the worst things that they could promote, they promote it to us, and we fall for a hook, line, and sinker all the time, and we destroy our lives because we're not smart enough or strong enough or confident enough to know that's not for me. I'm going to be myself. It's very rare that you come across a young person that got that kind of head on their shoulders. So like I said, it's a lot of men running around being influenced by things like uh, that's causing them to be thugs. Causing them to be players, causing them to be red pill, causing them to to be uh to to take up this 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 whole this this movement of oh there's no good women in America so I gotta leave and go find me somebody else in another country. These women around here ain't worth the time. It's a lot of people right now being influenced by Andrew Tate in the red pill community, and these guys are gonna be out here living this life. Because they thought it was they thought it was gonna be good and thought it was gonna be great, only to find out that it was gonna blow up in their face when they got older. Everybody wants somebody at some point in time. What you gotta do is figure out what you going what kind of man or woman you gotta be to attract the kind of man or woman that you want. And people ain't gonna stick around and, and be with you and put up with your mess. Because that's what you feel like you deserve. You're going to have to be as good as you want, as good as as good of a spouse you want. You're going to have to be just as good. Don't be out here listening to these people that's steering you in the wrong direction, telling you that you have to be uh, promiscuous and you got to sleep around and you got to be a liar. You got to be a cheater because that's the only way to protect your heart. You know, in in. It might give you some short time, some short term uh, joy or whatever, because you living in the moment and it's exciting and all of that. When you pick up something new and you you start applying certain things in your life and it seems like it's working for the moment. But long term, how is this going to turn out for you? These people like in Red Pill, for instance, they love to say that women are going to die alone. They're going to cause a lot of men to die alone. Because ain't nobody finna put up with nobody running around being a butthole to every woman that they ever dealt with. Ain't nobody gonna put up with that and be good to them and stick around till death do us part. But that's what these big time content creators got y'all thinking. Just understand, you need to be confident in yourself. That's, that's what make a man or a woman. A man or a woman, not a boy or a girl. When, when you get to a point when you know what you want in life, you're not influenced easily by other people telling you what to do and how to do it. That's when you know you becoming a mature adult. And the only thing you got to do once you figure that part out, that part out, what you who you are, once you figure that out, all you got to do is figure out where to go from there. If you want to be a married woman, then you know what you got to do. You got to be a wife. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring some things to the table. If you want to be a husband, you know what you got to do. You got to be a husband. You can't be out here being a knucklehead, lying, cheating, uh, <laughs> sleeping around with every girl you see. You know what I'm saying? You got to be somebody that's a, a, a person of integrity. Be a genuine person. Stop, stop hiding behind the mask and hiding behind who you think you need to be. 
that's a, that's a good way to attract things that you're not supposed to even have in your life. So many people are are dealing with consequences behind actions that they took that they didn't even want to take. But that's all I got to say about that. I'll see y'all in the next one.